Warning, this video may contain flashing lights. Hi guys. Um, I didn't know how I wanted to start this vlog because I feel so out of practice with vlogging. It's unreal, but I'll just go ahead and tell you what I'm up to right now. I am actually updating my website and it's, uh, it's interesting. Um, I'm not super into the header that I currently have, so I am doing my best to change it. Um, let's see if I can show you guys. So, here's the current header. I really want to change it. I'm not super into just, in general, like, how it's just a bunch of images. I liked it at the time, but now I'm ready to change it. Uh, it just is too busy for me. So that's what I'm up to right now, and, um, this room is a wreck again. <laughs> Doesn't take long, does it? No. I can't wait until the basement is done and ready for me to move my stuff into, because I'll tell you what, it's gonna be so nice <laughs> to have more space. Um, not only to store paintings, because, let's be real, we don't want to just store paintings, we want to sell them, right? But mostly just so I have more room to work. If I have more room to work, I'll be able to create more pieces faster. So, that's what I'm most excited about. I am, I am very excited to have some breathing room, because this room, as amazing and wonderful as it is, I've grown out of it. And, uh... Yeah, it's just not practical anymore. So today I'm supposed to be picking up a huge drop cloth for the basement because I'm basically just going to turn the floor into drop cloth. I'm not going to deal with ripping up the carpet right now. I'm not going to deal with putting in new floors right now. I am going to save some money and just buy a ton of drop cloth and um, that's going to be my floor. And I think it's kind of cool. Um, for one, we get more critters in the basement, you know, i.e. Uh, spider crickets. Are they called spider crickets or camel crickets? What are they called? Are they camel crickets? I forget. But we get those cricket things. They're like this long and they're really gross. And... That's the main thing we get downstairs, but sometimes there's a spider too. Um, so, and sometimes ladybugs, actually a lot of ladybugs, uh, but I get those in here, so that's not anything different. But, um, so yeah, we get some critters, and currently the carpet, which I will insert a clip right here of the carpet so you can see it, is this ugly like old-fashioned pattern which actually a lot of people who have seen it have said that they think it's kinda cool but I think they're just trying to be nice <laughs> but any little critters that we get blend in really well because the pattern is just so jarring the pattern is just so busy and has a lot of browns and oranges in it and so it tricks your eyeballs into like not seeing the said spider or cricket like the other day like yesterday I think it was, I was cleaning down there, and I was, like, vacuuming, and all of a sudden, I'm, like, almost eye level with one of those cricket things, because I was, like, really low to the ground with a little hand vacuum. It wasn't pretty, guys, so, <laughs> uh, it blended right in with the carpet. It was disturbing, to say the least, but, so, yeah, I'm just gonna put drop cloth down, because I want to get the drop cloth that's, like, off-white, if not white. And I want it to be fabric, so I want it to like last a long time and be pretty sturdy and not the slippery plastic kind. Um, just something that I can use as my flooring. Because um, I was thinking about doing rugs, but I don't like the idea of having lots of overlapping rugs and creating like these bumps in the floor. So that's my thinking on that and hopefully all goes well. I'm supposed to get that later when Derek comes home so we can go together and go get that. But um, other than that, let's go and uh, check out the basement together, guys. This is what's currently on the easel. 
Lots of work left to go on this. Um, yeah, I think I need to give her more hair to cover up her chest. Um, cause I, I'm still not super into the full on nudity thing with art. Um, but as you can see, this room is a mess. It is a mess. I've got a lot of artwork over there. I've got my art cart, my printers on the floor because I'm so professional. I've got a bag of like paints and stuff and just, it's just a mess. All that mess over there. Oh, it's really bad guys. It's really bad. I look like a hoarder or something. It's, it's a wreck. So I am hoping to um, send in, like fill out and send in a membership form for the um, local art center. So I should be a member soon to the local art center and I'm really excited but I'm also kind of nervous because, you know, the next step is to actually use that membership and to actually go to the art center. And as a lot of you probably know, I get really uh, nervous and anxious, I guess, depending on the situation, um, in social situations and like having to meet new people. Even though I used to do it all the freaking time, um, you know, I was in public school, so every single school year I was like meeting new friends. And actually, was it every year? Was it every semester? It's been so long, I actually forget. But I would have to meet new friends and meet new people and new classmates, like every year at least, and so, I mean, it was just like a normal thing. I mean, the first day was always scary, but after that it was fine. So, and I think in adulthood it's harder for me to meet new people because I'm like, you know, every job I had, I worked at each job for like at least like three years, sometimes four or five years, and so, um, it's kind of like, I didn't have to meet new people until I was going to a new job, which was after several years. So I'm definitely out of practice with like meeting new people in a way, even though I meet, sorry, I was like winking at my cat because she's freaking adorable. Look at her. Look at her. She is so, so precious. I just can't even get over it and I can't zoom in on her. There we go. Look at that. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. Luna, say hi to everybody. But yeah, so I'm actually going to be filling it, filling out a form today uh, and sending it in and hoping that I'm doing the right thing because honestly, I actually, it, they're not super clear on their website. They have like the form, they have the address, so I'm assuming I'm just supposed to send a check in with the form with the dollar amount because there's like a membership fee. It's not that bad guys, it's, it's not very big at all. Um, basically think of it like your PlayStation Network amount, <laughs> like, or something like that. Um, so it's not bad at all. So I'm probably just going to send that in the mail, and then hopefully they'll send me a card or something back in the mail. And so, <clears throat> anyways, I'm hoping to go to an event there next weekend. Um, not next weekend, next Friday. So, I don't know how it's going to go with, like, streaming, because, like, I normally stream on Fridays on Twitch. So, basically, I have to be, like, done with that event and back before my stream, or I have to cancel my stream. So, I don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. I haven't even told Derek about it yet, so I've got to tell him about it today. Get him to want to go with me. Um, and then we actually have... Um, our friend is dropping his cat off for some more cat sitting the day after that. And then the day after he drops his cat off, we have a wedding to go to. So next weekend is going to be extremely busy. Um, so wish me luck with that. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take you guys downstairs. And you will get to see what's going on in the basement. Yay. Yay.
Wow. On camera, the lights really look blinky, but um, I swear they don't blink that bad at all <laughs> in real life. But as you can see, I have gotten so much done down here. Um, and I'm really proud to say I didn't do it all myself. Derek helped here and there, but I did like maybe 80% of it by myself. So I'm super proud of it. It's definitely a labor of love. And you can see, yeah, that light. I mean, I guess it's blinking in real life, but it's not blinking nearly as much as it is on camera, so sorry about that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't hurt anybody's eyes. I might have to put a warning at the beginning of this video. Um, flashing light warning. But anyway, so let's step this way so you can get another good look. There we go. That's better. So, what's left to do? I'm glad you asked! I want to take all of the drop cloth I currently have down out, which it's, um, this is like a paper version, and then that's a plastic version. I want to completely get rid of that and put down, in the entire room, over this ugly carpet, I'm going to put down actual nice looking fabric drop cloth. And I want to eventually paint this column and put uh, fake flowers. Um, spiraling up the column. I think it will be a nice touch. And I'm going to put my, I don't know, I, I actually want a new easel for the middle part of the room. But for now I'm going to put my easel in the center of the room. And I want to have some like workstations and like um, countertops I guess. Like all along the wall here and maybe the wall there. I don't know. We'll see. I want to have my round shelf right there, which looks just like this. This is my round shelf I got from Target. I actually got it from the kids section, as you can probably tell. Pillow fort! Um, but uh, I'm really excited about that. I want to put it in the middle. And I want to hang art uh, either to the left and right of that, or over here, or over there, or maybe all three walls. But that's basically the main area there. Of course, this whole basement is pretty big. I mean, look at this. I'm going to have so much more room. It's going to be awesome. So, like I said, I want the drop cloth to come all the way over here. I may even have to cut a hole in the drop cloth for the column. So, that's going to be interesting. I am so excited, you guys. It's coming along so nicely. And the other thing I want to do is I do want to look into changing this ugly ceiling. Um, I just want to rip out the drop ceiling, like, so bad, and just completely let it be open and just, like, paint whatever's up there. But uh, at the same time, I'm, like, really sick of painting. Like, no joke, like, painting is... Not sick of painting, like, as in my artwork, but I'm sick of painting walls for now. But um, I still want to open up the ceiling and I want to actually have like exposed beams and stuff like that and have like some paint up there but I don't know how that will go. Um, it will definitely give it a more industrial look but like I said I'm not a fan of drop ceilings. I mean look how ugly that is. Not to mention that I accidentally damaged them just a tiny bit when I was painting the trim. I'll show you guys over here. That light is really bugging me out. How it's blinking like that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you see how I ripped up some of the material of the drop ceiling by having painter's tape up there? Yeah, I had painter's tape up there, which kind of was a fail anyway, because as you can see, I got paint on the edges of the painter's tape. So I should have put two layer or two bandings of it, but it didn't really matter because it caused damage anyways. So I would have just been better off getting paint on there than like damaging it. So yeah, just be aware of that. If you put painter's tape on a drop ceiling tile, you're probably going to pull off the paint of the drop ceiling tile. So that was my little oops. My mistake. But to be honest, I just, 
I'm just not that into this ceiling anyway, so I do intend to change it. I don't know how yet because as you can see, the lights hang down under the ceiling over here. The light is inside of the ceiling back there. I don't know if you can see it, but it's in the ceiling back there. But in this part, it's below the ceiling. So it's all exposed. And why is there a school bus outside? Is school already in session? Oh my gosh, school's already in session. Um, it's like August 9th. I guess I'm behind on when school started back. Oh well. Anyway, so that's my plan, or those are my plans, I should say. And, um, yeah. Today I don't have anything scheduled for, like, cleaning in here or anything, so it'll just be about me getting that drop cloth. So, I do have to measure this room, um, and, like, figure out, like, the entire square footage for the drop cloth and how much I'm going to need to buy. Um, I eventually do have to paint the floor trim all the way around. You can see it's not painted. I will have to paint that, so I'm going to have to buy a new brush because I destroyed this one. This, like, the bristles completely came out. They're completely, like, coming out. It's really bad. It's insane. So that, yeah, don't be like me. Don't, don't abuse brushes. Actually, I destroyed so many brushes. This time when I go to the store, I'm going to probably flag somebody down that works there and be like, how do you wash brushes that you use for your house? Like, I know how to wash my brushes for my, like, oil painting. I've got, like, paint thinner for that, but... I'm afraid to use that for this, because I just don't feel like I'm supposed to. This is not... I don't... Is this oil-based? Hold on. <laughs> now I'm questioning everything. I'm looking. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, this is clean up with warm soapy water. Do not freeze. Well, I didn't freeze any of these. Um, I try to use warm soapy water, but it still doesn't get all the paint off, so I think that's bullcrap. So, that's not very good. There we go. So I'm just going to ask somebody at Lowe's or wherever we go. Home Depot, Lowe's, one of those places. I'm going to ask them how to wash the brushes because soap and water just doesn't work. It doesn't work. I even use special brush cleaning soap. Okay, hold on. I've tried regular brush cleaning soap. I've tried dish soap. Your girl can't get a brushes clean. Um, for example, I've used, hold on, I can't get this. I've used this pink soap, and it's from an art store, so it's like for cleaning your art brushes, okay? I get it. You guys are probably going to be like, that's for cleaning your art brushes, Macy. But hey, when regular soap doesn't work, you try brush soap, right? That's what I thought. That's what I tried. I don't know. I just wanted to show you guys an update, and clearly we're getting toward the end of this. Other than the ceiling. The ceiling, I don't know when I'm going to work on the ceiling, because the ceiling could be a huge undertaking for all I know. Or it could be really, really simple and easy peasy breezy. But I don't have any idea. So, basically, we're going to play it by ear, and this is where we're at right now. This is how much space I have. I still have to move all of that crap somewhere else because it doesn't belong in here. That's my gardening stuff. It's just really convenient because I can just go right out to the garden. The garden is right out here. Let me see if I can show you guys. So there's my garden. It's right outside my doors. It's, it's right there. So I'm not calling this a basement studio anymore. I'm going to be calling this a garden studio because it sounds nicer. It sounds beautiful. I love the sound of it. Look at this nice white backdrop for videos. The lighting. Ooh, there we go. There's the lighting I need. My hair is kind of in a weird state today, but we're just gonna roll with the punches there. It's kind of frizzy. I don't know what's going on with it, but yeah. 
So, I'm just going to end it right there. Thank you guys so much for watching. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send in my membership form and I guess finish updating my website. But I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. So before I go, I just want to shout out my patrons. They're on the screen right now. And I just want to thank them so much for supporting me. They're always so super kind and sweet and they help me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for being patrons.